Yo, what's good, y'all? Um, two killed Isaiah, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make um a Mickey Mouse graphic. I've been seeing a lot of these all over my Explore page, and I've sold a couple in the past. And they've been getting really popular, like recently, and they've been really popular. So I just wanted to show you guys how to make something similar to it. I know a lot of it has just been inspired by the Vivian Westwood Mickey Cheese and people just have been doing their own thing and twist with them but I'm gonna show you guys how I um, create mine since I've done a couple in the past but I try to put my own little spin to it make it a little more grungy so the first thing you're gonna want to do like always um, set up your document so I do 3000 by 4000 at 300 resolution 300 resolution is the best to use like I said um, in my previous video it's just for the most quality and especially if you're like getting them printed um posting them etc it just has the best resolution so i'm a you'd create that and then next thing you want to do is find the graphic that you want to use so especially with mickey mouse tees there's a lot of reused graphics like here i'll pull up right now and show you like the one that everybody uses i don't know um yeah, op just look up op <laughs> like opium Mickey Mouse, bro. Everybody uses the same one. Let's see if I can find it. Um, I mean, I've seen, yeah, I've seen this done a thousand times, but like, even like that graphic people reuse, which pretty much just ripping off this dude. But yeah, just find your image. Try to find a more original one if you can, just to have it stand out. Uh, here I'll drag in the one I found. I liked. It's like a western Mickey Mouse, you know, he's got some guns, whatever. And what you can do is, here, yeah, I might actually make this for a white garment, but what you can do is, if you want it more simple, you can just simply take the white off of the background. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually color in the Mickey, so let me actually pull up a reference so I can get the right colors. And for coloring it in, I mean, you could do other colors, but I'm, I'm gonna just simply stick with the regular Mickey Mouse colors, so it makes a little more sense to me. So I'm gonna just pull this up right here, keep it as a reference. And then for, he I'm gonna just show you like the, the way I do it. So what I'll do is, hold on, I'll go to the magic eraser and I'll remove the background right here. Just actually that kind of, all right, well, yeah, I guess I'll do that. And then take out this. Probably won't color in the smoke just because it doesn't make sense. And then what I'll do here is I'll make a new layer on the side and I'll go to blend mode, darker color, and you'll see why. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'll do the star for example right here. So the star, I'm going to have it as yellow. So I'll probably take the yellow from there. I'll just click on my foreground hit that oh my god the color now so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to the bucket tool and this doesn't always work and i'm also going to threshold this so the lines are a little more straight and not so blurry okay so now you see it's a little more you know bold and not as blurry as it was so let's say for the star for example so you can click on the original layer and fill it in like that and then this foreground layer or um this layer with a darker color blend is going to be used for let me change my brush real quick it's going to be used for like the face for example where you won't be able to uh, paint bucket it in so let me just grab the color right here and then this is where it takes more time i mean it really all depends on what you want to do you don't have to color in the mickey but I personally like to. So you see how I'm coloring it in and it's not going over the black of the of Mickey right here. That's because I have it on a darker color so it goes under it. And it can be really like time consuming when, especially when you can't paint bucket it in. But like I said, I just like coloring it in and it adds a little more life to the design. But you can always keep it black and white if you just want to skip past this part. So what I'm going to do is, I showed you guys how to do the paint bucket tool. 
um, again you just click on the layer you, but like you see where the head is how it doesn't have one of my cursor is right here how it doesn't have the closing line so if I try to paint bucket that it's going to fill up the whole background layer so I'm gonna to have to draw that in with my brush tool on the darker color layer but like for the paint bucket um, let's see if I can hit up anything else for example maybe like this um, satchel right here is that what it's called whatever um, so I'm going to get like a brown more of a brown dark tan color for this um, go to my paint bucket tool you can also hit G for a shortcut and just see it fills it in but like if I try to do this little um, thing right here it's not closed off and I guess you could take a brush and fill it in if you want but I don't know I'd rather just color it in so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just time lapse for y'all real quick and I'll be back once I color it in Alright, well, now that I'm done coloring it in, which that didn't take me too long, maybe like about 10 minutes. Um, the next thing I'm going to do right now is I also cleaned up. Oh, what is that? I also cleaned up some of the edges just because I didn't really like the smoke lines and uh, things of that nature. So you can see here what I color, what I uh, color bucketed in or whatever. It's, uh, I got a lot of it done with that, which saves some time, but then also that's all I had to color in. And it looks kind of stupid, but just think of it like a coloring book almost. So now that we're done with that, what I would do next, I'd merge these layers. So it's just the whole graphic now. Uh, maybe place this where you want it. And I'm going to try to stick with the theme of an old Western, you know, kind of thing. I don't have a slogan in mind, but I'll see if I can come up with one. So what I'm thinking, I mean, the main graphic is done. Now it's just where you want to put your text and everything. So I'm gonna time lapse that real quick and I'll stop in between if I have any tips or whatever to show you. Okay, now you see I have some text laid out. I did a little texture work to the top. I mean, personally, I wouldn't use this text for the graphic, but it's the first thing that came to mind. And for time, I'm just going to leave it like this. But just think of the, don't read the text too much. Just yeah, think of it more in like the graphic aspect of things. Like I wouldn't put dead in six shots right there. It's just something that's kind of on theme and for an example pretty much so right now what I'm gonna do is you see how it's it's almost too blank and if you like it like that one thing I'm going to change right now is I'm gonna just change the font because I actually don't like that font for this I want something more cursive almost something like that um, yeah I kind of like that I mean we still got some work to do Let's see if I can this fit a little better with the graphic. Yeah, stroke to that. Or I might actually do like this. Um, try this. this is, I mean, this is all personal stuff. I'm just trying to make it look a little bit better for the example. Uh, 
broke to add so you can see it better. You know, just something like that. I mean, okay, now here, what I'm going to do is, so you still have the threshold layers and everything. So I'm going to actually add a texture from my pack that I have on sale in the website in the description. Find that real quick. Um, I'm going to do one sec. Let me find it. You know what, I'm actually going to use this one. So I'm going to rotate it, and right now what I'm going to try to do is add like more of a background to the image just to fill it up some bit. And I'm going to drag it right here. Add like that. Boom. give us some more character things of that nature you know I mean really this is all up to you like this part of the design I'm just trying to add a little more details help it stand out just a bit I wonder maybe I put some color right here I'm actually not really liking that This is what happens a lot of the times. I get slumped on the text. I'm gonna try to fill up the graphic. Oh, I do like this font. Let me see if I can work with that. Let's scale this up a little bit. What I don't like about these fonts, the outline fonts, is that um, they're transparent in the middle, so something I do to fix that, which I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but once again, this is how I do things, so I just fill it in the opacity part of it with the, or the transparent part of it with the paint bucket with white or whatever the background is. Okay, I do like that font more. Maybe I'll add a drop shadow to give some depth. Yeah, I'm liking that a little bit more. Maybe perspective it. Even a little bit. Scale it better. I'm gonna overlap it to add more of that depth feel. Alright, I mean, that's not bad. It could, you could definitely do more to this. Like, maybe, since it's Western, maybe you get like some. Let me, let me see what I can do. And like I said, this is all up to you. Like, I was just going off the Mickey Mouse Western theme, but like, I can show you guys some examples of some other stuff that I did, including Mickey Mouse. Let me pull up my Instagram here. Just to show you guys that there's like really a lot of shit you can do with the Mickey Mouse graphic. It's just all what comes to you. Like this is something I did the other day. Mickey holding the gun, to add some text, some grunge and all that. And let me see if I have another one up here that I like. I mean, this is one people, some people like. The, the more I look at my work, the more I just criticize it. So, that's like a shroom type one. Um, yeah, I, I really like this one. This one was inspired by Hell, Hellbound. And then, yeah, you see this murder incorporated. Whatever, it's pretty simple. But that's all the ones I have up now. But yeah, like, with this, for example, I'd say this is pretty much done. Um, I'm gonna grab a texture I got from Theron Studios and just put it over, add a little more feel to it. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it for here. Like I said, if you're, um, you know, displaying this on your work, you can maybe add like some more background, uh, just make it feel a little more lifelike. You feel me? Let's see if I can. Oh, 
I mean, that's pretty much it for the how to do a Mickey Mouse graphic. Like I said, it's all experimental. Just do whatever you feel looks best. Like, take your time with it. And if you have any questions or concerns or thoughts, whatever, just leave them in the comments below. And I plan on releasing a lot more YouTube videos, trying to get some better tutorials out to you guys. So if you enjoyed, just subscribe, leave a comment, you know, all that shit. And I'll see y'all in the next one.